Oh, hello. I have a vlog for you today. Do you remember me in there? This is Sarah Bell. I haven't been on here in like a month. And this vlog is a lot of like home stuff and just like behind the scenes of this whole new business venture that I'm on. And I'm so excited because today the first part of this vlog is sponsored by Fabrique. This is exciting because one, I love the clothes. If you follow me on Instagram, I've been wearing them a lot. I saw this dress and I was like, I need it for the Hamptons. And guess what? I wore it in the Hamptons. I brought you down to the floor because that is where I feel the most comfortable to explain Fabrique because this is, again, like I said, so exciting for me. If you guys aren't familiar with Fabrique, it's a website where they actually have designers designing a bunch of different items and collections and everything feels so special. There's over 300 designers on the website and they are all making something so different so there is literally something for everyone. And the best part is is they gave me a 12% off discount which is so incredible. Let's get into the haul. Let me show you guys everything and we're gonna start off like I said with the cherries. The dress that I'm currently wearing which as you can see is absolute perfection it is called the Nina cherry embroidery dress in cotton um, this is literally my favorite thing in the entire world it is by the designer Vivetta Ponti sorry I had to use that because I was like I need to be able to tell you guys about it but this I wore this in the Hamptons I'll put a picture of it on the screen I wore this in the Hamptons already it was my favorite outfit that I wore this entire summer and I styled it with my cherry Louis Vuitton and I thought it brought it all together. I just put on some like jelly flats with it and it was so like just epitome of Hampton. So this is like the most fun summer dress. There's still a bunch of sizes left um, if you guys are interested but I love it. It looks like one of those toddler dresses that you know everybody in the south puts their toddler in but like I love it. I got a medium in this and it's perfect. Obviously I wanted to share some fall inspo for you guys. So I also picked out this sweater and this sweater is called the Virginia handcrafted sweater with detachable scarf and boucle knit fabric. And it comes, as you could tell from the title of that, it comes with a detachable, which I don't know how I missed this the first time I unboxed it, but it comes with a freaking hood that I can use. This is so good for New York. Designer of this item is Anna Pang. I absolutely love how chic anything looks with a detachable scarf. And I paired it with this Gucci bag that I got last year that had, or I guess this year, that has this silver metal hoop. And I love the raw unfinished hem in some parts. I think that adds like such a fun little detail. I also got this in a medium. If you guys are obsessed with anything like activewear, you're gonna be obsessed with this set. This is the detachable hoodie blazer jacket and the matching wide leg pants. And this one is actually designed by Clara Asia, is the ex-APC creative director. This thing is the most versatile item that I own. I love that it has a detachable hood so it can be super casual but you can also obviously take off the hood. So soft it literally feels like sweats but it is actually made of wool. And then I've also got the matching elastic pants on which has amazing tailoring to it. I usually tend to size up on the bottoms from fabric but these ones were a medium as well as the top and I feel like it goes without fail that I have to style it with my new Gucci bracelet bag this is gray it's perfect to me it just like makes this entire outfit even more fun especially with the silver jewelry adorable and now if you're not a fan of like a matching set you can obviously mix and match these pieces so I actually have these jeans by Fabrique that I'm about to put on. They are epic. They, as you can see, have an ombre to it. I've always wanted a pair of jeans like this. I got these ones in a medium. You have to look at the measurements because I feel like that is the best way to determine like what will fit you. I went with the medium. These like fit me perfectly. These are the Halo hand dyed ombre jeans by Claire Scalon. When you have jeans like this, to me they're like super slimming because of the contrast on the outer side so it's gonna like give an illusion that is extremely slimming on the figure. The denim is the denim is extremely soft because it is 100% cotton so we love that. What I'm about to show you is my favorite item. This is a ficus blazer in soft velvet and the matching Viren's midi skirt. Look at this. 
Is that not perfection? This is my favorite thing in the entire world. I'm obsessed. This is my favorite color. It matches my velvet chairs in my living room. Just take it in. Just take it in. I got a medium on top, a large on bottom. I'm so glad I got the large on the bottom. Don't know why, but I'm kind of feeling a pop of red, which if you guys are obsessed with this bag, this is coming to see the archive here shortly. But I'm obsessed with like red with this like mustardy brownish greenish color. Oh, I think it's so fun and I would pair it with like my matching Kate heels. These would be perfect. Oh my gosh, I am so obsessed. I just want to wear this like every day of my life. Unfortunately, I think that would get gross. But yes, this is like the perfect oversized blazer for fall. Can't wait to style that. So that concludes everything from my Fabrique haul. I'm so excited about this. Like this brand is so cool. I hope there's more hauls from them in the future because I'm just utterly obsessed. Again, I have a 12% off discount if you guys want to check it out. It'll be all linked in the description box. Go ahead and continue into the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog let's get to it i'm so excited to be vlogging i haven't vlogged in a freaking minute but i do have some footage of when we got our new bathroom storage thing because i finally had to suck it up and get a storage container like one of those things that go behind the toilet not proud of it but i'm gonna insert it we have a new bathroom organizer thing i can't believe the day has come that i actually have to use one of these i got it on amazon it was the least offensive looking of them um, and plus we have a window and I didn't want anything to cover it. So we'll see how this goes. It literally fits like a puzzle piece. Go slide this in the little gap. Uh oh. Yeah, you didn't think about the artwork there, did you? I did not. Frick. Uh, maybe we can chop the legs off and make it shorter. That's not how it's gonna work. At Cody building. We had to take one of these down because <laughs> I did not factor in like the width of it. I just measured to make sure it would fit in this and it does fit in that. But like look at how gross this is all down here. I'm like we need to figure something out for that. So hopefully this is a good solution. As you can see the window not ideal but we'll see what we can do. Okay we built it. The shelf on the top was like impossible to get to work but I could not have planned this any better if I even tried like that's pretty incredible do you see how close we are to that wall and I feel like it's not so aggressive like a lot of those shelves so this is exciting I'm gonna get like a uh, baskets from Ikea to put shit in because obviously like this is not aesthetic and make it look a little bit better so I'm excited. Okay, this is why we don't love men. Look what they do. Why do they do that? I'm like, we have these bins. What did Cody, so I bought these bins from Ikea. <laughs> There's nothing in them. <laughs> he was in charge of cleaning the bathroom yesterday and he just put everything <laughs> to the side of it and not in the bins. So these were actually the best that I could find. They were literally $3. Um, they were like the perfect height, not too light, because I didn't want them to be too low where tops of the bottles and stuff would be hanging out. So I got three of them. That's better, but I have no idea why he's not using this. Like the whole point was we would each get one and then we'd put like this stuff, like the toilet cleaner and stuff on the top one, but I digress. So this is like my tampons and stuff, but it's worked out really well in my opinion. And it's not too heinous except for the top shelf, which has he even put anything in here? A towel. Okay, so I just put all of the cleaner supplies in this. So we now have that squared away and we don't have to look at them because we will have to see just the tip of it. But since it's on the top shelf, I don't think we'll be able to tell it. I also really want to like either wallpaper or paint the walls in here because I got these big things of wallpaper framed from Framebridge. You probably remember that. But I'm like, it'd be so fun for like a clashing wallpaper since this room is so tiny. So let me know what you think. Should I paint it or should I wallpaper? Like peel and stick obviously, but because the, the walls are super like soft and not textured which is perfect for peel and stick okay now we're back 
So today's Monday and it's an excellent mail day because I got all these little grocery bags in the mail from a brand. I, you've been using this one for year plus for my groceries every time I go to Trader Joe's and they didn't realize it when they reached out to me that I already owned one. So I was so excited. This bag is epic. And I used Shippin. I actually just saw my friend Cassie do a sponsored video with Shippin. I've used them now two times. Um, I used it to purchase something from Canadian Poshmark before. And today I used it to buy something on Vinted UK, which is so nice. So you can use Basically, someone that lives in that city or in that country can purchase an item for you. And they're like the middleman. Sorry, I have like food in my teeth. But I've used it. It does like obviously cost a fee. But my guy, Nick, my UK host, Nick, clearly packaged this. Like he's got his own personalized tape. They didn't have personalized tape when I bought something from Canada. Okay, it's going to take me a second to open. Finally getting closer to opening this. When I bought this and it, he received it, he sent me pictures of every nook and cranny of this bag to make sure it was up to par for like what I was expecting, which is amazing. And it is a Chloe bag. Now I'm loving vintage Chloe. I have now I think three of the bags. There's another one coming in the mail hopefully tomorrow that is, or probably Wednesday actually, that I will be I think selling on See the Archive. But are you ready? This is gorgeous. This is so pretty. This is like the same color as my hallway. Look at that. Oh my god. I paid less than $500 for this with all the fees and everything. Oh, that's so pretty. This is gorgeous. The glass bead ones and the ones with this detail are, I think, from the year 2005. Wow, this is so pretty. I'm going to go show Cody this because I can't stop looking at it. And I'm showing him. Oh, wow. Isn't that cool? That's cool. It's heavy. I know. It's got some girth to it. Like Less colors. than $500. Damn. I know. Feels like $500. Feels like ten thousand dollars i know this is like the most accurate coloring right here this is so pretty obviously the satin's a little worn here but that's just because it's been used oh my gosh this is heavy wow so now i have another package from fabrique and i'm really excited about it but this is what i've been using as my tripod so i'm going to open this box get the clothing out and then put this box back up because i need to use it i okay that took way longer, just like the first round of me opening something. Took, um, Fabrique. I am so excited about this. I was basically like, I, I need that. Like, I, I need that outfit. Oh my god, everything's matching my hallway today. It's crazy. But I told them, like the company Fabrique, I was like, I don't care what I have to do to get that set. I need it. I need it. It is literally one of the most beautiful pieces I've ever seen. I think I've already at this point ranted to you guys about, or not ranted, just like ranted about how much I love this company and how unique everything is because I'm just so sick of seeing the same thing over and over. This is my one of my new favorite things. In case you can't tell, yes, it matches my entire apartment. I always check to make sure it fits around my neck because that will usually, you know, fit, but... She's beautiful. I'm just absolutely obsessed with this. Oh, I can't wait to wear this. I'm like, I need a girl's night. So right now, um, I need to pick up this stuff, but I also have Miller that I need to pick up from getting roomed later. He's gonna look so freaking cute. I filmed this morning, I need to film a TikTok, just like boring stuff I don't know I always people ask me to do more day in the lives of living in New York and I'm like honestly my day-to-day -day is not very like New York it's more of just like a normal life you know so this is that um lots of filming I need to go get my steps in though that is something that's very important to me because I've been using the health app a lot to track obviously like look at last week my average was 9,000 it's pretty good. Only one day, which was my rot day, Friday, I didn't get that many steps in. But 
I've only gotten 370 in today. Well, that's me withholding my phone, so I'm probably close to a thousand, but it's disappointing, Sarah. This is so perfect outside. It's like 70 degrees, which is, in my opinion, the best time to be in New York. And just a t-shirt. Going to pick up Miller. Hopefully he is the cutest dog in the entire world. I can feel my like period coming, which is so annoying. I'm like, can we coordinate this like better next time? Because I'd rather not this week. I've been working on my friend Danielle's closet clean out on the app Dawn. So if you didn't know, that is one of my like new ventures is you can hire me to be like a stylist for like a bridal moment or even restyle things in your own closet that you currently have. So it's mainly emphasizing on sustainability and wearing what you've got, which is really cool. So I'm doing a closet clean out for the CEO of Dawn and it's been taking a while. And we got a lot done, but I still have to go back tomorrow or Wednesday to put everything in her new Ikea pack system, which is what I have, but she'll need help organizing it with everything that we cleaned out. As most of you know, I live in Brooklyn Heights, favorite neighborhood by far. It is so stunning, all the brown stones. And right up here on Jeroleman and Hicks, I believe, is my favorite block, because look at these. Isn't that so pretty? And there's a fire station whenever this moves, right there. So pretty. Look at this cutie. <laughs> so cute. Oh my goodness, you look so handsome. Look at you, freshly groomed. They had to do a little shorter because we just got him groomed like two months ago. And his hair grows so fast. So and he's got a special shampoo. This is my favorite place to walk Miller. Look at that. Brooklyn Promenade. Come on, Bubby. Come on, Bubby. just truly doesn't get any better than this and I feel like it's kind of like a, a gem that not a lot of people visit because it's truly got the best view of side eye in lower Manhattan. I got my forehead. We're not going to talk about how shiny that got after, you know, doing all of the business that I've done today while I take off my nail polish and I'm about to get a shower because I just did a hair mask um on the lower part of my slick back bun basically i just combined my olaplex and which by the way i love these these are just like nail polish remover pads they're not the most sustainable thing in the entire world but actually now that i think about it i don't think it really matters because technically cotton balls wouldn't be either and this is just like a little felt thing anyway i love that these I don't have to deal with like anything. Anyway, but I combine Olaplex and then whatever like type of hair mask I have, I'll use that with a combination and I'll put it in the ponytail part of my bun for like an hour or two, sometimes all day, depending on if I remember to do it or not. And that will make sure my hair is all healthy, which I do need to get a haircut desperately. I haven't gotten one since I moved here. I've been putting it off. But the place that Caitlin went looked really good. So I'll probably, honestly, they were, they reached out to me and I just I didn't reply, honestly, just because I was like, oh, I'm so fine with just dyeing my own hair, which I still am very fine with dyeing my own hair. It's just the cut. I get so nervous going to places, new places because you never know how much they're going to cut off. Anything in the background that would be our loud um, dishwasher. Pretty sure our microwave is currently shot, which is fine because like we don't have to pay for it. That's a great thing about renting. I don't care what people say. Owning a house sucks and renting rocks. The best thing we've ever done is moved into this apartment. Like, I truly believe that. This is the safest I've ever felt. This is the most at home I've ever felt. I am 
shocked every day that I don't need more space but I am really just so content here and so we did decide to re-sign our lease. I know I can't believe it's already time to be talking about that like I, I've barely posted on YouTube because of just I don't know honestly why I haven't I just haven't been inspired to but yeah I'm like can't believe our year or like 10 months came up so fast because you need to like put 60 day notice in and our lease technically ends uh, the last day of November so we're going through all that stuff right now I do kind of wish we could tour I mean I te guess technically we could tour places but there's no point it's just more stress but I could if I wanted to I'm gonna go get a shower rinse this hair mask out of my hair and get this red fingernail polish off my fingers. Good morning, it's Tuesday. I always get questions why I work from my bed. It's where my computer's charging and I don't have an office. Cody has the office and that's where he's on his calls. So I just chill and work from bed because it's no different than working from a couch in my opinion. Today's been an exciting day. Originally us going to Salem was supposed to be my friend Chelsea and my friend Piper, but they both couldn't come anymore, which is so sad, but Caitlin and I are still gonna go because we're like, we're rain or shine, baby. So we're going to Salem, which is very exciting because if you remember the podcast, TBT to that, um, we used to talk about going to Salem all the time. So now that we live on the East Coast, we're like, let's freaking do it. So we're going um, in like three weeks, which is so exciting. And then next week, I Caitlin just invited me to be her plus one to Montreal. I've never been in Montreal before. I've actually never been to Canada, now I think of it. So this is exciting, but I don't know anything about Montreal. I'm assuming we're staying in like downtown Montreal, um, but it'll be cool. But I've got all that stuff to kind of start planning outfits for, which is really exciting. So as I do emails, I usually scroll through websites to look for clothes because I'm obsessed. I wish it was gonna be cooler in Montreal. Like to me, Montreal, it's like fall year round, but it's actually not, so that's unfortunate. So I haven't updated the vlog in a minute. And I just got another bag in the mail for See the Archive, which is always so exciting. So let's see how this one looks because I really have no idea how it's going to. Also, I'm sorry about the lighting. It's an overcast day. I kind of like it. It's kind of moody. This is not as pink as I expected. Oh, it's more purple. Interesting. It's like purple. For some reason in the photos, I'll post a picture. I was expecting it to be like a pink. But this is definitely purple honestly this is so cool though what do we think that is so fun just not the color i was expecting which is so fine because like i said this drop is a fall drop and that was something i was kind of concerned about because this is obviously not very fall so upon further examination it is the exact same color i just apparently am stupid interesting okay so today is saturday and cody and i are going to greenpoint to do some thrifting this is the outfit revolves margella dior saddle this is on as my little sweater around my shoulders bottega and the package that i have to drop off at usps all part of the outfit of the day I'm feeling rather old in Greenpoint. Look at this super old Vogue. That's crazy. Our first stop was Fail. I was looking for vintage Vogue's and 
only found one. Very Miller would love this street for sure. Yeah. So pretty. Look at these. They've got the coolest lamps here. Giant toothbrush. We just left Dream Fishing Tackle, which is where I bought nightstands before we got the nightstands we have because they ended up being too tall for a bed anyway. <laughs> I have a new store and it was not much bigger than the old one. Okay, we are heading to dinner. We're going to see Thai restaurant. It's apparently where Samantha meets Smith Jared from Sex and the City. I figure I can make a TikTok on it because someone left a comment about it. That would be so fun. So you'll have to tune in for my TikTok about that because that's impossible to do two things at once. But look at the skyline. Huh? It's good to know. It's a putt putt, it's 10 bucks. There's putt putt right there. Yeah, that's where the putting is, the putt putt is at. I didn't know there was putt putt. I thought you were kidding. No, I was dead serious. That's cool. That's why I was about to we could go putt putt putt. <laughs> Obviously, we are not playing putt putt because we got to get home to dog after we eat our dinner. But we're gonna take the ferry home. Cody's never rode the ferry, ridden the ferry, because I'm a professional now. My friend lives like very distance from me, so I just bop onto the ferry. Currently in the process of a closet clean out, and I just got this on Facebook Marketplace. It's a CB2 cabinet, and I'm gonna use it to hold all of my sweats because I literally have nowhere to put them so this is our clutter room apparently but yeah that's pretty much the end of this vlog okay you guys I hope you enjoyed the vlog um if you liked the clothes at the beginning of the vlog they're still 12% off which will be linked in the description box all of that information I am so proud. I'm so excited to be back on YouTube and I'm so excited for the upcoming drop on See the Archive, which will be in October. So mark your calendars for the 14th. I will be posting everything on See the Archive at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I hope to see you there. And until next time, bye.